the, it was found that uh, nine states uh, in India has a probability of uh, nip occurrence. Kerala is one among them. The force of Nipah infection is uh, bats. Virus here we found in Kerala is uh, identified as Indian genotype. How confirm it? An outbreak of rare but deadly Nipah virus has been detected in Kerala. Said to be 70% more fatal than COVID-19, Nipah has claimed two lives already and as many as 45 people are under quarantine in several districts. To stop the spread, the state has gone into a lockdown. Authorities have closed schools and offices. Hundreds of Kerala residents are being tested. What makes the Nipah spread worse than COVID-19 is that there is no specific treatment for it. Nipah is a type of zoonotic disease, which means it is primarily found in animals and can initially spread between animals and people. First discovered in 1999, after it affected both pigs and people in Singapore and Malaysia, it is often spread by fruit bats, also known as flying foxes. An important observation about the outbreak in Kerala is that this is not the first time the virus has found its way into the state. In fact, this is the fourth such instance since 2018. And that leads to an obvious question. Why does it keep returning to Kerala? According to experts, it may have many explanations. The Nipah virus might have become endemic in Kerala bat population. Another cultural reason attributed to Nipah outbreaks is the custom of drinking fresh toddy or sweet tree sap which may get contaminated by infected bats. With situation in Kerala as it is, what are the chances of the virus spreading to other parts of the country? And if you're wondering about the situation in Kerala, here's what Kerala's Health Minister Veena George had to say. Uh, ICMR and WHO had conducted studies on the uh, uh, issue and uh, it was found that uh, nine states uh, in India has a probability of uh, Nipah occurrence and Kerala is one among them. So, uh, and also after 2018, we had conducted bat surveillance and we have found that bats, uh, uh, the source of Nipah infection is uh, bats. And the uh, uh, virus here we found in Kerala is uh, identified as Indian genotype, that I genotype, which is similar to the Bangladeshi strain. We have two strains uh, of Nipah viruses. One is a Malaysian strain and the second one is a Bangladeshi strain. And uh, this uh, belongs to the Bangladeshi, which uh, uh, Bangladeshi strain has got similarity with the Bangladeshi strain. And it is identified by ICMR as I genotype. So, and also, uh, um, uh, experiments have been done and uh, 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 RNA has been found and also IgG was found, as so an antibody was found. So, a uh, state department, that's a health department, we conducted workshops and we have evolved a calendar on activities against Nipah. So, the probable period of occurrence is from April, May to September. So, we through IEC activities, we try to educate people not to eat uh, uh, fruits uh, uh, bitten by bats or birds, etc. And also to observe uh, hygienic practices like washing hands, wearing masks. And also all the health workers are asked to observe the infection control protocol. And government of Kerala Health Department had already issued a geo on the diagnosis protocol that a person if it comes to the hospital or to a doctor with encephalitis or active respiratory illness then definitely he or she should be suspected for Nipah and the sample should be sent for sent for Nipah testing. Diagnosing the virus in the early stages is often difficult because the symptoms resemble many other diseases. Deaths range anywhere between 40 to 75 percent among all cases. Experts say chances of Nipah virus spreading like COVID-19 are very low. But what makes this worse is the fact that currently there are no specific treatments available for Nipah. Treatment is limited to supportive care, including rest and fluid intake. The tomatoes look good. What should I grow next year though? How can my farm adapt to climate change?
You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead. Think growth.